Oh, he's getting it now. Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal Custom. Today, I'm back on the 68 Mustang Fastback project. For those of y'all that have seen the last video, I'll try to start just about where I left off on that so that you can see it all and catch all of what we're doing. But basically what we've done is molded in all of our parts. And right now we're trying to do the finished body work, if you will, to get everything super slick and smooth, where it looks like one continuous piece and has a good flow to it. And then after that, we'll spray the sealer on it. And then we got a lot of other stuff to do. But let me show you where you're at, where we are at, and catch y'all up on this thing. All right, we have the upper and lower uh, front balances on. And as you see, we have them all smoothed out. Yes, I'm just at the stage of filler. I have not put the uh, finishing putty on it yet. We have our flares on the front. See, we got a nice transition down here to our our bottom front that's nice and smooth through there and then we come down and have to transition into our side skirts and of course trans transition the side skirt up to the rear fender flare which I had put on weeks and weeks ago and I took them side skirts and Oh, you want to kind of box it in, round them in, to where they look nice and there ain't some stupid crappy looking hole in there. But yeah, I got that taken care of. And we got both sides. Yeah, man, we're getting with it. And what I've done next, I've sanded the whole car back down with 240. Believe it or not, 240 is pretty slick. Uh, to a point where it's going to uh, get any bad marks, any runs, anything I have with the previous sealer on there. It's going to chill them out, and this next coat of sealer should lay nice and flat and smooth as we go along. Uh, working on this door right now. Uh, for those of y'all that's been keeping up with the channel, with this car build, this is the odd fender. It's the correct fender for the car. It's just... Not that good of quality. I had a lot of fitment trouble with it. And if you remember this door, when we got it brand new, it was damaged all down through here. So I'm just doing a final little bitty swipe here with the filler. And I'll get this all sanded out and dressed down and get it down to 240 as well. So that we get a chance to get this thing over in the paint booth and, you know, get the sealer on it. Uh, gonna be a lot of taping as soon as we're done painted all of this. Yeah, a lot of sand and dust on it. We'll get it washed up and super clean before it heads to the paint booth. So, that's got you caught up on the Mustang. That's where we're at. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, like I said, we'll sand that door out, get that all done. Then I'm gonna go through slowly and carefully. And I'll just come through with my hand to feel places. Like, if I feel a little bit of not so perfect transition between the metal and the filler or between parts then I'll get out some of my uh, white putty the finishing putty and just go over them for now I'm not going over everything with finishing putty and I'll come through here and like right there you can't see it but I can see it there's a little kit right there this part of us bad little pits pop into it after you get to working with it for a while. The sealer should take care of that. But any large ones you see, we'll go ahead and take the finishing putty, try to fill them in and smooth them out. After we put the sealer on, we go back through, because you can put anything on the sealer, and we can take finishing putty and then dress up little spots that just didn't turn out so perfect like we want. But that's got everything caught up, and now you know what's going on. So let's quit yapping and get to work. All right, I think I got all this uh, body work sewed up on this thing. 
Get her all sanded down. Of course, as you see, we got her in the paint booth. We got it washed yesterday. So now, what we need to do is go through with our Windex and a clean rag and just give her a good wipe down. Then there's a lot of taping up to do. We'll get all this taped up where we don't mess up any of that and go ahead and get us a coat of sealer on this thing. Probably end up putting about two coats on because, I mean, I, I want this car to last. Don't skimp on your products, guys. Use the stuff the way it's meant to be used for and uh, stuff like this, like sealer. Yeah, go ahead and throw two coats on it. It's not going to kill it. It's just going to be that much better for it. Then we'll see how it looks once we get our sealer on there. And the cool thing about the sealer, if we have any issues after that, which I really don't expect we're going to, but we might, uh, all we got to do is come back and we put filler right on top of our sealer and just do the process again, so no big deal. Yeah, but let me uh, get this thing wiped down and uh, then we'll let it dissipate for a little bit. Then we'll get some sealer mixed up, taping and shooting. Alright, well we got this thing sprayed down with sealer, and it didn't turn out bad at all. Now keep in mind, let's see, we did not work the trunk yet. Uh, I just wanted to get all that other body work sealed. But we did take the file sander and just run across the trunk, and as you see it got it pretty flat. So I don't think there's going to be a ton to get that trunk straightened out and to get her smooth. As you can see, how nice that looks with them pieces joined there. Fender flare looks good. Our transition from a uh, roof panel. And then we come down here, and this was the big deal. And this is not looking bad at all. I mean, you're going to have these little dots and spots. It's just something about it. And like I say, this... Uh, Low grade, cheap made fiberglass, even though it costs a lot. Quality's not there. You're going to have to work it, guys. That's just the way it is. But as far as our transition up, and the thing about this sealer, it'll really show you everything. Uh, I don't know how well y'all can see it. Maybe seem better when we get over on the lift. I see just a shade right there. Uh, it's just not super. Uh, smooth or transitioned and that's why we do the sealer yeah and see you can see them little pinholes that pop up in that fiberglass yeah that stuff's notorious for it but she's coming on in there I mean she's looking good I think the rest of this would just be basically uh, some light sanding and probably put some of the uh, icing on it you should take care of what few issues that we have. But yeah, the old car, I mean, it looks good with the sealer on it. I'm happy with the way everything fits, uh, the line and the way it flows. There's something. I did not notice that there's a dent right there. Huh. Had to be on the panel when we bought it because I know I ain't hit it or nothing. But yeah, it's little stuff like that to really show up. Whenever you get you some sealer or some uh, primer, whatever you use on yours at whatever time. But yeah, that'll really help you find all your little bad spots. Alright, now we need to get this thing untaped. Get it back over to the first lift. And get back to doing some really fine body work. Alright, now that it's on the lift, we got it raised up. And uh, actually I can see it a little bit over here. Uh, I don't know why, light shadows, whatever. But it lets me see a lot of the bad spots. And as you see, I took our putty, icing, whatever you want to cut it, and run around all my bodywork. And uh, I had a blister spot right here. I had to cut down in there, grind down in there, lay some more fiberglass. We'll get that sanded out and get some white putty over it, and it should be fine. Now I've done started sanding on the other side. As y'all can see. And what I'm doing here, I'm taking the DA with some 80. And that's getting the big stuff. 
Then I go back and hand sand with 150, then 240. And then once everything's said and done, we'll go over the whole car with 400, uh, re-inspect everything, check it out real close. And if it all looks good, then it'll be time for our high build primer. But you can see how this works out. Here's the top right here. Now I'm already down to 240 on it. And I mean, it's slick. It looks great. See how it contours up. There's no low spots. There's no high spots. I mean, yeah, that I should really get the uh, particulars done on that thing. And this is how I look at it with my eye. I come down here, start going up, up, up. And, of course, feel across there and see. But, yeah, that's coming along really, really good. Our seam here looks pretty great. All I'm going to do is take and just rough across there a little bit. And I'll take some of the uh, icing. And that will just get them little, uh, some deep sandy marks and such as that. And take care of them. But, I mean, from here on out, guys, it's just a lot of the same old, same old. I'm just going to be sanding and doing the what I call fine body work. Then uh, once again, get it over to the booth. We'll get it washed, get it to the booth. And then where we've done all of our body work, we'll reseal all of that. But yeah, she's coming along. It's turning out slick. Uh, just a lot of work and a lot of particular sanding going on. Well, I have sanded until my hands about fell off. And this thing is right at the verge. There's a couple little spots that I need to get, as you can see, up on that door. But it's pretty much at the verge of being uh, washed, pulled over in a paint booth, and we'll do us a little bit of sealer over what we've already done. But as you can see, this thing turned out really smooth. And the big deal about this is we didn't want waves. Let's see if I can hold the camera in a way y'all can maybe see you look down through there along my bodywork line there's no waves and that is a trick all of this is straight and level with itself I had no big whoops or lines or indentions or anything like that transition from here to here is because that's just the way the car is made. But the rest of that is straight. Everything turned out really, really well on it. Even these right here, all I done was sand them and they turned out just fine. You run your finger down through there and it looks great. Same on this side. Yeah, like I say, and that's a trick guys. Get this thing to where it feels good with your hand and it looks perfectly straight with the eye. Even our exhaust got a little more sanded than them. But they turned out really nice. That's a little bit of spray can high build primer I shot in there. And I'll sand that out. That'll take care of some of them fine scratch marks. But yeah, I think she's going to turn out pretty slick. Like I say, next week I will get this thing cleaned up and get us some sealer on there and then we'll probably go to the trunk and the hood and get that body work and stuff like that taken care of so everyone that's going to wrap this one up for the week uh well actually i think it's been like two weeks since i put out a video on this best i can remember but, oh no i slept since then so you know how remembering it is but we did get a lot done it's not a big uh difference as far as what you see on video but it is a lot of progress as far as getting her super straight, smooth, and correct. That way, once we get to that point where we paint it, we won't have any issues or no ugly spots. She will be straight and she will be nice. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know I enjoyed doing the car. I love working on this thing. Uh, if you would, throw us down some comments if you're able. Hit us up on Patreon and or Super Things. And please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. 
Till the next one, we hope that everyone has a fantastic day.